Hi everyone, it's Laurel here, and um, I hope that everyone is trying to stay warm across the country. Um, my travel plans were delayed by an entire week uh, due to this Arctic blast. Um, I So I find myself with a little bit of extra time, and so I have a couple of projects that um, I wanted to check off my list, and this was one of them. Um, I created this yesterday, and I just thought I'd share it with you. So it's just a paper bag mini album. The paper collection is Hopscotch by Basic Gray. It's a very old one that I had in my um, stash, um, and it was a 6x6 six six pad. Um, for closure for this, I'm just using a rubber band and a hitching post and the rubber band goes through to the back a We Are Memory Keepers wide eyelet. Um, I quite like that. And so all of these papers are from the Hopscotch collection. Um, this is being gifted to a little girl um, who is getting a sister in the next month or so. and. Um, I thought she might like to have a big sister album to put some pictures. Um, so I'll take you through how I, what I made. So as I said, it's a six by six paper stack and I didn't have a lot of this paper um, after I did all of the tip ends and the pockets. So I decided for my cover liners that I would do kind of a quilt pattern. So that's what you have over here. But all the pages are basically the same. Um, they're created from a Michael Celebrated paper bag, um, which I got the inspiration from. I went back through um, some of the tutorials I watched, and it was Ginger, my sister's scrapper. You can find her on YouTube. She does some pretty amazing many, uh, many albums. So I took the basic base page from her, and then I added on to it. So you do get space for um, a large tag. Um, you could actually fit two. And you get this little pocket here, which I just put a little tag in so that I could keep these down. I created a pocket page on the top. And then this flips up. And this let's flips back. So quite a few pockets. And what's cool about this is not only do you get it on the front of the bag, but you also, I cut this one just a tad shade too close. I placed it on there. You get it on the back too. So this is the exact same thing. Here is our bracing tag. Here is our bottom panel. Here is our pocket page. And then this flips up. And they're all exactly the same. So you get a total of 10 front and back. And five pages front and back makes 10. So then after I was done all of that layering and inking and die cutting, um, I decided I wanted to dress up the covers a little bit and part of that to attach all this ribbon, I just very slip, simply slip some rubber bands in between the pages and around the spine so I could tie on my ribbon. Um, I did that with my rubber band books and since it was for a little girl who's about seven years old, I thought that that would bring a lot to it. Um, I also had these big sparkly brads, and they're actually brads, and so they are mounted through to the other side. So that's my little album. And they're all exactly the same. It's a cute collection. For a young girl. 
I did, that's all I had was the actual pad and it took some creative paper usage to get all this covered. Um, I didn't have enough to do these large tags and I, I literally don't have anything left of that. But I did have some ribbons in my stash that went pretty nicely with all the colors. And this is the back. My little quilt design for the back and there's the back and then it just closes up with that little rubber band so that is the um, hopscotch basic gray album that I created um, I used five celebrated bags which I cut down um, quite a lot of um, craft cardstock, a lot of score tape to hold this one together, but I wanted it to be extra sturdy. And I did use the hidden hinge binding method um, developed by Kathy Orta. So um, I hope you're using your snow days creatively, and um, I'll see you at the next project. Bye, everyone.